Pam, before I get to your side of the story, I want to remind people about Anjum. He's been on the program before. Uh, you want worldwide Sharia, is that correct? Of course, yeah. We believe that the whole world right. should be uh, governed by divine law. And you support the idea that women can drive, correct? That's a Saudi rule, although women can drive. It's up to the head of the Islamic State and, to decide and you how believe the rules that of segregation should be applied. Muslims that leave the religion apostate should be killed. Well, of course, the Prophet said whoever changes his din, kill him. So this and, is the job and, of the right, state to... And gays and lesbians should be killed. I'm just reminding my audience of your position. Gays and lesbians, the penalty for that is death, correct? Well, you know, if they, if, they, if, if they do the act publicly and they are witnesses, it does carry capital punishment, yes. Uh, okay, now, let me go to you, Pam. Uh, this is a serious threat. Basically, a fatwa, a death threat, has now been issued. Uh, your reaction to that, have you, have you had any contact with the FBI? They have not contacted me, but of course we've now increased my team. I, I have a team now, private security, and N NYPD counter-terror has been in touch with in me. In touch with you. And so, yes, we'll, we'll all be did working together. Did you reach together. out to the FBI? I did. And they have, the Homeland Security hasn't gotten a hold of you? I, the I, FBI hasn't gotten a hold of you? No, and this is interesting because this is a terrorist threat, and the FBI, President Obama, should provide security. There's yeah. just no, there's no question about it, because he created an environment that raised the stakes on this. If you recall, I had a free speech conference on September 11th in 2012. I had Lars Vilks, a cartoonist there. Uh, it, was, it was for freedom of speech yeah. and the fact is uh, nobody uh, tried to nobody right. nobody tried to attack it uh, nobody reported on it but that same day the Cairo embassy was attacked Benghazi was attacked they flew the flag of jihad on top of the Cairo embassy and our US embassy apologized let me they apologized for let me go to Mr. Islam. Chowdhury. all right all these incidents over a cartoon Anjum all these incidents over a cartoon do you support this death threat against Pam Geller because she ran a, a free speech contest drawing cartoons of your profit? Let's be absolutely clear. We're not talking about Mickey Mouse or Donald Duck. You're talking about people who deliberately had a competition to insult the messenger Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. To make cartoons. If you saw the cartoons so you that support drawn, the death. If you saw the cartoons, just bear with me, Sean. If you saw the cartoons that Charlie Hebdo drew, you would understand the anger. And now this woman wants to draw cartoons or have people draw cartoons to insult the Prophet, knowing full well that this carries the death penalty in Islam. So definitely, she's so you asking support people this. to attack. You support the death why penalty for Pam Geller, security on the day. Who doesn't eat, who's not a is not Muslim, you support the death penalty because she had a cartoon contest. Is that how, is that how frail you are in your faith, that you feel so you insecure know, that me. you cannot... It's not about me, it's about prophet, the divine law. Your prophet Whoever cannot withstand a cartoon being drawn about him? That will carry capital punishment, Sean. So it's you want my personal you, views. Want, you, know you support well, the death penalty. You, you want to kill her. And the sunnah of the prophet. You want her to die. You know what? She should be put before a Sharia court and tried, and she's not guilty, a Muslim. of course she will face capital punishment. She's not a Muslim, Anjum. She's not a Muslim. She doesn't believe she what you believe. Before you don't believe in liberty and freedom you know, you and freedom of speech. You want to from, oppress uh, her over Theo a cartoon. Van Gogh and, uh, and Salman Rushdie and Hasi Ali. You cannot continue to go down this road and expect the Muslims to stand back. You know, I would uh, retaliate if someone insulted my own mother, let alone the Prophet, who I adhere and, you know, I, I love a hundred times so more than my family. So if anybody says anything Come against on, your, your Prophet that, that you would don't attack like. someone if someone attacked his so mother. If you don't, what about if, the Prophet? If somebody says something about your Prophet that you don't like, you want them dead. Any prophet. Your prophet. You know, if they said that about Jesus or Moses or Abraham or yeah, the prophet yeah, right. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I didn't hear anybody. It's well, the same wait, difference. Wait a minute. Because there was a punishment. crucifix submerged in urine and I didn't hear you or any other Muslim say that, that this person ought to get the death penalty, Andre Serrano. There was an elephant dung thrown on a picture of you the know, Virgin Mary. I didn't know, hear Sean, you or any other Muslim let me tell condemn you something. that or threaten in this death country, there. In this country, they depicted Isa alayhi salam, Jesus, as a homosexual. That was called Corpus Christi and you the support Holloway, the death of them uh, too. Road theater, the, the Pleasant Theater. And we had a demonstration. And Christians were coming to us and saying that we should have been out there. So right. we always raise our voice no matter which prophet of Allah you know, has been attacked. And what I would say to you Here's and the, the American difference. people is instead here, here, of insulting the prophets, why don't you follow them? Why don't you abide by what they say? Well, it's a completely they don't agree with you. The very people we don't, who live, in your, we don't from. live under your here, oppressive here Sharia, key, Sharia law. Here's the key you will do one day, the Sharia is coming to America, as you well know. Here's the key and critical difference. Canon law pertains to, Christian, to Catholics, Jewish law pertains only to Jews, but the Sharia, yeah. the, the, which is a, the, dictates every basic aspect of human life, 
asserts its That's authority over non-Muslims. The Jews and Christians can live under the Sharia as they do for the years. Angela, this is silly. Why can't you live that? Angela, this is silly. Let one at a time. The Sharia asserts. The Sharia asserts its authority over non-Muslims, unlike Jewish law and unlike canon law, which is why the, um, under the Sharia they're slaughtering the Christians, they're slaughtering secular Muslims across Africa and across the Muslim world. The fact is, in that fatwa that was issued against me, my name is preceded by Kanzir. Now, Kanzir means pig. It's the word Muhammad used before he slaughtered, how many, I should, beheaded, hundreds of Jews. So to first say to the liberal media that this is not religious is absurd and obscene on its face. To blame me and say that my cartoons are controversial, excuse me, murdering cartoons, but murdering cartoonists is controversial. And it is the jihadis that made this a flashpoint, not me. And does anyone really think that these jihadis would have just been peaceful, uh, loving Americans? Okay, can I of come course, back to of that? Of course they wouldn't. I, I submit you to know, you that our all, conference all, saved... Uh, no, I'm talking, sir. I know you're used to stepping over women, but you're not going to have it here, okay? My conference saved lives because I understand the threat and we had enormous protection and the Garland police were superb. But those jihadists drove a thousand miles for this conference. Would they have hit a mall? Would they have hit a coffee shop like in Australia? Or kids? Or th that conference okay. saved lives. And shame, shame on the cowardly right, let's go media. Let's back to the imam. Go well, ahead. Pamela, first of all, the word khanzir I think is too good for you in the first place, you know. At least the khanzir worships Allah. The fact is that you insulted the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and obviously you knew the consequences, otherwise you wouldn't have had thousands of dollars worth of security. I live when in America. About, when, you murdering, live in America. when you talk about murdering innocent people, there are no consequences. People, the United States of America are the champions of murdering innocent people. The champions you of freedom, sir. You torture sir. people. The and CIA look how you can't it. take it. Exactly look how you want to kill people. Look how you want to kill people. Are Muslims occupying America? Oh, I think you'll find oh, that the Americans me. are occupying Muslim Mr. land. Mr. They're the ones Mr. who killed up, the ones who kill up to a million people Anjum. in Iraq and Afghanistan. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, in the name of Islam, one Muslims at a time, uh, Americans and others in self-defense. Let Wake me ask you a question. World. We have yes. watched, in the name of your religion, your so-called prophet, we have seen people's heads cut off. We have seen girls kidnapped. We have seen girls raped. We have seen girls uh, thrown into slavery and impregnated by radicals in, your, in the name of your religion. Is this, what you, is this the prophet that you praise so much? Is that, is that Islam you know, Sean, to you? Sean, Excuse me. Exists, uh, answer that, that question. Is that Islam to you? News. Is that Islam to you? I'll tell you something, Sean. That reality only exists, exists in Fox Excuse News. Excuse me. I have, being I, I have the no images of Coptic Christians on a beach I, I, simultaneously the beheaded in, in the name of Allah. Are treated as subordinate whores. You're the one who believe in pornography. You're the one who put so naked women in the So if you disagree with pornography, you're going to cut somebody's head off? dignified. I'm sorry, Sean, you're living in a cloud cuckoo land. That is Fox News. I'm living in cuckoo dignified. land, you and you rape young women, girls you and kidnap young States. girls in now the name of Boko Haram and, men, women, and Allah? Children. No women are being raped. The only women being excuse raped... Excuse me, those uh, Sean, girls got returned to... Have a look at the statistics. Nigeria, excuse me, they're pregnant. And they were raped after they were kidnapped. You they're know, taken the, away the, from the, the arms of their mothers, sir. Islam. In the, the women over there embrace Islam. The, the people are being killed in Nigeria. All over the, the world in the name of Islam. In are the name of your prophet. The Nigerian regime by bad luck, you know, uh, Jonathan and his own uh, successor, not by the You're Muslims. Pathetic. We are the ones You're who are defending pathetic. ourselves, Sean. Wake up. You're we defend pathetic. ourselves in Syria, in Iraq, in Chechnya. You're in evil India, and in pathetic. Kashmir. You All know, right, we're we defending go. ourselves, Sean. Thank wake you, Pam. up, really. We'll give you the last you know, word. You have this so called woman on your show. We'll give you, excuse me, you have to be quiet. There's another term, person here. Roman Catholics don't like when their religion is mocked, but no one talks about provoking them. Christians don't like it, Jews don't like it. But this is what it takes to live in a pluralistic society. You have the right to offend and be offended. You know, I, every time I, but, I put Angel on, let me tell you something. People will complain that we put him on. This is the problem. He believes this. A lot of people And a do. lot of people believe this. And there's a lot of terror in the name of Islam, and the name of the Prophet, that is happening. And you know what? People ought not get killed over a cartoon. And that's what's happening. But why don't we expect that from the Muslim world? We all understand that there's a right to offend. You know, they don't like the, the Christ on the cross in a jar of urine or the elephant dung. We didn't like it. We didn't kill anybody. There's Holocaust denial ca cartoon conferences. The Jews didn't kill anybody. What is this uh, so, the low expectation of soft bigotry? Why don't we expect that from 
the Muslim world. In that sense, Why it's almost condescending that we would expect less. That's exactly right. Well said. All right, I got a break.